In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you a little trick that enables you in Canvas to add items to this navigation list so that your students, when they come into the course, they'll see a button to grades, they'll see a button to take them to assignments or whatever you've established as your navigation buttons here at the left, but they'll also see these custom buttons that you've created that will take them to other places. So let's look at how to do this. And the examples I'm going to give are for my Spanish 2 class. Here's the course, and I've set this up and created this in a previous video. Hopefully you've watched my other Canvas tutorials. If you haven't, please do so. And this is going to be the main portal for my students where they come to learn Spanish. However, I'm going to use this other website called conjuguemos.com. And I'm also going to use Duolingo. And it would be nice if I could bring those two external sources, external websites into my Canvas course. And there's other ways to do this. But I would just like to add two buttons here in the navigation panel. To do that, all I have to do is go to settings and click. Now this is the settings for the course, not my account settings. My account settings are here. And those are very different. Instead, I want to be here in the course settings. And you can see that there's course details, there's section settings, there's navigation settings. And this is where you can turn on or off buttons here at the left in the navigation panel so that students can't see them. You as the teacher can still see them. But if I drag buttons down here below this statement here, then the students won't be able to see them or use them. Okay, so I'm going to put those back. I don't mind the students being able to access all of those. But to add some custom buttons, I need to go here to apps. And when I get to apps, it's going to bring up a whole list of apps that you can install or enable inside of your Canvas course. And in this case, I just want to search by filter name and I'll put in redirect. This is the redirect tool and it's an app. I'll click on that and I'll add the app. Next, it wants me to name it. And I'm going to change the name from redirect tool to conjuguemos. And then I just need to put the address for conjuguemos.com here into this text box. So I'm going to go back to conjuguemos.com. I'll click on the URL. I'll copy it and then go back and paste in that address. Notice that I erased the HTTPS that was already there. Underneath the address, there are some options. You can force open in a new tab, and that is a good default option, I think. But if you don't want to use it, you could uncheck it. I want to show it in course navigation. You could alternatively show it in account navigation or in user navigation. I'm just going to go with course navigation, and I'll click Add App. And now, when I go to the home page, look what it did. It added a navigation button here for Conjuguemos. When I click on it, it opens up a page here and it says to visit the URL, click the button below. You click and it opens up a new page. Now I'm going to go back into settings and I'm going to add the redirect app again. I'll click add app, but this time I'm going to call it Duolingo, which is the other external resource that I wanted a button for inside of Canvas. I go to duolingo.com. I'm going to click copy by clicking edit copy or you can do control C or command C and then back here I'll just paste it in and I want to show it in the course navigation. This time I'm not going to force open a new tab. I'll click add app and I just want you to see the difference. I don't see it listed here yet but if I click the home page it should open up and now I've got Duolingo and Conjuguemos in the navigation panel. When I click on Duolingo look what it does. Because I didn't force it to open Open in a new tab, it opens it right from within Canvas. And honestly, I kind of think this is better. It might be better this way. Conjuguemos works pretty well, but when you click, then you've got to click again, and then it opens it in a new panel. So I have kind of changed my mind. I'd rather not have this particular app the way it is. I really do prefer the way Duolingo is working, where it pulls it in. If that happens to you, where you change your mind about a redirect app that you've installed, you can just go back into settings, Go to the navigation panel and then you can find the one that you don't like, in this case Conjuguemos, and you can disable it. You can also go here to the apps and I can do a search for redirect yet again. Click on it and this time I will add the Conjuguemos link again, but this time 
I am going to not force open and I'll show it in the course navigation. And just so that you can see what it looks like, I'm also going to show it in account navigation and I'll click add app. It was added successfully. So now if I go to home, notice that Conjugamos is back. But now when I click, it doesn't open up that little button that I have to click and then go to the external tab. No, it loads right inside of Canvas just like Duolingo did. So that is the trick for how to add items in your Canvas courses here at the left. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button below. And please consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for another video at least every Monday.